Well, I made it to the campground and uh, I biked 28 miles, but you might notice that my car is in the background and that's because <clears throat> about halfway to the campground, 14 miles or so, uh, the GPS kind of told me I was off route and I tried for a little bit to try to figure out how to get back on route and to no avail. And instead of just being bullheaded and figuring out the way I didn't want to get lost, so I decided to bike back to the trailhead in Cable and drive here. So, uh, depending on overnight parking for tomorrow, I'm either going to bike to the next campground and spend the night and come back here to my car or just spend the morning, you know, biking and... Uh, going back to my car and driving to the campsite tomorrow night. So a little change in plans. I don't know if I'm going to truly get a full bike packing experience here or not. Um, but you know, I'm car camping and, uh, I'll get to bike during the day. So lessons learned, uh, it was a good trail, a lot of, uh, rock gardens, the gravel, um, really pushed myself up some hills being clipped in. I'm not accustomed to that with mountain biking. Uh, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with it, but, uh, I just want to let everyone know that I made it to the campsite. Um, I just drove here instead of biking, but, uh, lesson learned. That's kind of what you have to do sometimes. Um, I didn't want to get lost in the middle of the woods and have to, uh, disperse camp and cook, uh, in the middle of the forest. It's a little easier here with a camp, uh, ground, um, site with a picnic table um, but this is a really cool campground, Moose Lake Campground. Um, it was a seven mile gravel road back to this campsite, campground from uh, the road to the middle of the Shawamigan National Forest. So it's very secluded. Um, so I just want to let everyone know that I was all right and uh, kind of what, uh, what happened today. But uh, we'll try again tomorrow. All right. Bye.